Got a box of stuff here. I'm gonna get this sucker open, see what's in there. It's a mystery box. We'll get that open and then, yeah, see what's in it. Looks like a bunch of Nanolex stuff. To me, I mean, not a bad brand, but you know, I mean, you take a gamble on a mystery box. Not everything I was hoping, but hey, I'll give everything a shot. So, fucking monster of the Camaro. You hear that? So we are at Shane's shop doing some paint correction on this. What, what year is this? 2013? 2015. 15, 2015 ZL1. And nobody, we, we can't figure out what's done to it. I mean, you said what, like a fucking scripture of dish. Long Just list. like a long list it's of like shit. Naughty list. Just a long list of stuff. Uh, so I'm sure it'll give, what, Nick a run for his money. Dude, this thing's a sinister. Let's put it that way. It looks, it looks, it looks the part. Yeah. So oh, it's, it's, it's getting, what, a clear bra, right? Oh, yep. Full clear bra, so he wants some paint correction done before the clear bra goes on, obviously. So I'm in the middle of testing some panels with some different products and whatnot. Obviously, I've never done one of these cars before, so you need to kind of test panels and see what products are going to work where, how they work, what speed to put on the Rupes, et cetera, et cetera. I was sincere, baby, baby. I used to say I was sincere, baby, baby. I used to say So I just finished the test portion here on the top side of the bumper. And we're doing a one step on this today. There's different levels, obviously, most of you guys know this, but there's different levels of correction you can go through. You can do one step, so you can do two steps, three steps, four steps. I mean, really, it's a matter of how deep you wanna go and how much clear coats on the car. Um, if the paint's really, really bad, a lot of people even wet sand first before they do anything. All right, so current sit rep, give you guys an update. Now, didn't film much during the process, I apologize, but let me explain real quick here. What we ended up having to use due to Chevy with your shitty ass, hard flipping paint, it's been the death of me, ask Shane, but, so what I ended up having to do was get out the trusty flat top. This is a hard paint compound. I called my buddy Caleb. Caleb gave me some recommendations. Thank you, buddy. Used a microfiber Meguiar's pad. Shane's get up in my shit. Sorry. So, cutting pad, Rupes, about speed five, really, really slow. Slow arm movements, about three, four, maybe five passes. Went through, took everything out. Go back with the Meguiar's finishing pad, an M205, which is the finishing polish, and the car is looking good. So, really, really happy with it. Gonna finish up the rear bumper here, and uh, that should be a wrap, and Shane can go ahead, what, tomorrow, the next couple days? Yes, sir. Go ahead and uh, get the Expel on there, but paint came out really, really nice. What's up guys? So back in my garage here, I was over at Shane's shop. It was easier for me to go to him for this job. Normally I bring people to me because I just have everything here and I don't have to lug everything around. Um, but anyways, I kinda, I, I know I was short in Shane's shop. I was a little short on time. I only had tonight to do that job because tomorrow Shane was starting to clear bra and we're on a schedule for the client. So, um, I couldn't really film a lot, so I apologize for that, but I wanted to regroup here now that I'm home and kind of just run through really quick what I did uh, and what I had to do to get the paint um, corrected. So Chevys are notorious for hard paint. So I initially, I always start off with a test panel and I started off at first with a foam pad and a kind of an all-in-one polish. Figured it wouldn't work, gave it a shot. Some areas it, it picked up a lot and and really took care of some things in other areas it just it's like it wasn't even there so i ended up starting with right here i had a medium cutting pad medium foam cutting pad 
and HD speed. This stuff is an awesome one step um, all in one. It's phenomenal, but if you have anywhere close to medium to hard paint, uh, it won't really do anything. But this is kind of my, my go-to for um, one steps. Now, what I had ended up going to was a microfiber Meguiar's pad. So a, a cutting disc and a flat top. I showed you this a little earlier, but uh, I ended up using flat top hard paint compound. Uh, I called a friend of mine, Caleb, if you're watching. Thanks again, buddy. But um, we, him and I go back and forth. For some reason, I always get the detail jobs that have the hard ass paint. So what I ended up doing was switching to this, using flat top, and then doing a finishing disc um, with 205 with Meguiar's finishing polish. But the trick to using flat top to get this to work well on hard paint, at least on this Chevy paint, on this ZL1 was, uh, what I did was I put the pad on my Rupes, uh, I'm using a, a 15, uh, Rupes 15 Mark II, and I ended up going through, let me move this out of the way, and I ended up going through and basically I seasoned the pad, so brand new pad, what I ended up doing was putting a bunch of this, you know, all over the pad, and massaging it into the pad, literally everywhere, getting, getting the whole pad seasoned, um, and, and covered it and kind of uh, not dry. I didn't want any of these um, any of these little microfibers here to be dry. So um, got the whole pad seasoned. Then I went through and did literally pea-sized dots. One, two, three, four. And I did one pan at a time. One pan at a time and did a speed on my Rupes of about five and very slow passes. I mean, we're talking like just moving, if you're moving the pad, like like this slow. So went through, did about four passes with the flat top and that, uh, that did the job. That went through and got out a bulk of the paint defects. I unfortunately wasn't able to grab any after or before shots for you guys again, sorry about that on a time crunch, but um, I, I just wanted to recap uh, here mainly with the flat top because this this stuff has been a lifesaver for me lately. Uh, on the Infinity, the Infinity is hard, hard paint. So this stuff I, I bought to correct uh, this car as best as I could. And since then it's seen a lot, a lot of use. So. That's what I ended up having to do. These pads, these Meguiar's pads were phenomenal. Um, highly recommend them. This is the five inch uh, pad, but um, worked really well. In between pretty much panels, I would use um, air, compressed air, blow out the pad, clean it off. Again, put your dime size, or your, sorry, your P size um, dots on there and have at it again. So. Uh, Shane's really happy. I'm hoping the client's gonna be really happy. Shane will get the clear bra on there. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of review that with you guys. And I, I, again, I apologize for not being in the setting where everything took place, but I wanted to show this to you and I wanted to kind of just explain it a little more because a lot of you have been asking for more detailing videos. So I'll try to do some more here as the weather is finally turned around in PA. So um, I'll try to do some more uh, how to's or at least show you a little more of the process rather than talking about it. So again, I apologize for the lack of, you know, fancy camera work and before and after and everything, but uh, I wanted to explain that to you. So I hope it helps you guys. If you have any questions on it, feel free to let me know. Um, again, Caleb, if you're watching, appreciate the uh, help on this one again, buddy. But you know, hey, as always guys, I appreciate you watching. Do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up, click the red subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.